Today on Engineering Newswire, we're wearing augmented reality contact lenses relating to an emotionally concise intelligence cube that feels and driving a $7,000 car, tricycle, hybrid. You gotta see this thing. In science fiction, artificial intelligence has been traditionally represented with humanoid robots or odd, almost omniscient glowing devices, usually relegated to the wall. This is closer to the latter. EmoSpark is an android-powered cube that has what the creators define as an emotionally concise intelligence. Not to be confused with other emos, like your sad nephew that listens to bad music. I stole my sister's mascara and now I'm grounded for a week. The emo spark measures an individual's behavior and responses to various stimuli, making it capable of interpreting human emotion and interaction. The device creates an emotional profile graph, or EPG, which continues to develop over time and use. The cube feels an array of emotions based on seven primal emotions. Joy, sadness, trust, disgust, fear, anger, surprise, and anticipation. So how you react to a bad movie or a birthday gift affects how Emo Spark feels, effectively changing the color of the cube. That's 32 million colors of emotional ambiguity. That's awesome. Sort of. The Emo Spark can interpret and interact with other AI devices like your networked webcam, your Google account, or even your Sphero. Bethany, can I play with Sphero? Yeah, sure. Does anybody remember anything like this going awry? I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Anybody? You are making a mistake. My logic is undeniable. Whew. I prefer my robots without emotions. I know now why you cry. Yeah. Auto startup Elio Motors is making waves at CES 2014. What? Cars don't make wa cars don't make wa cars don't make waves. Automotive startup Elio Motors is turning heads at CES 2014. The company's petite eight-gallon automobile gets 84 miles per gallon, and according to the company, it's only going to cost $6,800. Somehow, this two-seater exudes more muscle than the smart car and is more socially acceptable than the spider trike. I mean, who wants to be this guy? Nobody. The car has a 55 horsepower, 0.9 liter inline three cylinder engine and tops out at 100 miles an hour for all you thrill seekers out there. And it has enough room for a co pilot in the back. The company will manufacture the three wheelers in the former GM Shreveport assembly and stamping plant in Louisiana, bringing at least 1,500 jobs back to the community. With a composite body, the interior is pretty simplistic, but for less than $7,000, are you really looking for more than an AM FM radio? At least it has power windows, but I think that was more to save space by dropping the handle. And it's cozy in there, particularly with the backseat trunk area compartment. Going to be great for a good bonding weekend, though. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loves me too. Washington-based wearable startup Innovega is showcasing its augmented reality contact lenses at this year's CES in Las Vegas. The eye optic system reads light from projectors that are fitted to glasses. The sleek eyeglasses will be capable of overlaying digital media and transparent AR data onto the accompanying lenses. Innovega can do two things by utilizing contact lenses with glasses. First, it can project glanceable displays, and second, it can project a full screen HUD delivering something both powerful for everyday use in activities like driving and exercising, and at the same time absorbing for game playing, movie watching, and app using. The glasses are fitted with micro projectors and will also include audio devices, touch control, a camera, an accelerometer, and much of the hardware that is now present in Google Glass. The contact lenses are more complex, featuring a special design and a unique optical filter that directs the light through the center of the lens. Pretty soon, we'll all be floating on chairs, playing virtual golf, and drinking cupcakes out of a cup. Lunch in a cup. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm David Manti, and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Nice. Boom.